The Button Monger Appraisals, Education, Purchases, and Sales Kate Greenaway Buttons Kate Greenaway was an English children's book illustrator and writer. She studied at what is now the Royal College of Art in London, which at that time had a separate section for women and was headed by Richard Burchett. Her first book, Under the Window, 1879, a collection of simple, perfectly idyllic verses about children, was a bestseller. Her paintings were reproduced by chromoxylography, a process by which the colors were printed from hand-engraved wood blocks by the firm of Edmund Evans. Through the 1880s and 90s, in popularity, her only rivals in the field of children's book illustrations were Walter Crane and Randolph Caldecott. Kate Greenaway children, all of them little girls and boys too young to be put in trousers, according to the conventions of time, were dressed in her own versions of late 18th century and Regency fashions. Smock frocks and skeleton suits for boys, high-waisted pinafores and dresses with mop caps and straw bonnets for girls. Liberty of London adapted Kate Greenaway's drawings as designs for actual children's clothes. A full generation of mothers in the liberal-minded, artistic British circles who called themselves the Souls and embraced the arts and crafts movement dressed their daughters in Kate Greenaway pantaloons and bonnets in the 1880s and the 90s. As the charm of Greenaway's children caught the fancy of the public, her style influenced the fashion world of her day. Her illustrations were used on such items as greeting cards, china, buttons, embroidery patterns, dolls, and even wallpaper. Many button designers in the late 19th and early 20th century used Kate Greenaway illustrations as designs for their buttons. Today, Kate Greenaway design buttons are very collectible, bringing up to a 50% premium on sales. The following three slides show Kate Greenaway buttons alongside the original Kate Greenaway drawings. Summer, from the Four Seasons, mid-1880s to mid-1890s, from Almanacs, produced by Edmund Evans. Little Miss Patty and Master Paul, from Under the Window, Pictures and Rhymes for Children, 1879. Little Miss Patty and Master Paul have found two snails on the garden wall. These snails, said Paul, how slow they walk, a great deal slower than we can talk. Make haste, Mr. Snail, travel quicker, I pray. In a race with our tongues, you'd be beaten today. Seesaw Jack, Kate Greenaway's Mother Goose or the Old Nursery Rhymes, 1881. Seesaw Jack in the hedge, which way is the way to London Bridge? One foot up, the other foot down. That is the way to London Town. <laughs>